Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to hide and show Excel sheets dynamically using a VBA code. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. And notice here, when I click the combo box here, we're getting all the Excel sheet names. Now I want to hide the student worksheet name hide. See here, the student worksheet is hiding. Now if I click show, again we got the student work, uh, Excel sheet. I want to hide the country hide. See country worksheet is hiding. Again show. If I want to hide country hide, uh, student hide as well as the employee also, I want to hide see again show show if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates if you notice on this workbook contains three excel sheets now usually when we want to hide any particular excel sheet we have to select that sheet name right click the mouse click hide it will hide that selected excel sheet we want to unhide that sheet again select any particular active worksheet right click the mouse unhide and here we've got the list of all unhide sheets select that particular employee uh, sheet click ok again we'll get back that employee sheet it will show on the excel workbook now instead of doing this right click the mouse and select the unhide which is a long procedure instead of doing this i want to do here uh, coding part using VBA code with the option buttons. So let's start the tutorial. As I told, I'm using VBA code. So in order to create a user forum, we need to go to developer. Under the developer, there is a Visual Basic. Click that one. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now we'll add one user forum on this application. Go to insert. Click user forum. And here we got the user forum. Now let me expand this user forum. Now we require one combo box. I'm adding one combo box here. After that, I'm adding two option buttons, which are the radio buttons. Option one, what I, I'm adding, I'm changing the caption to show. First one is the show. Let's increase the font size. Bold, 10, okay. Auto size two. Control C, Control V. Uh, control C, Control V. Now this one is a. Uh, I'm changing to hide. Hide. That's it. We have done the designing part. Now my first aim is I want to populate the worksheet names in this list box for that go select the user forum one right click the mouse go to view code now we have to initialize the procedure first dim i as variant after that i'm looping uh, to counting the workbook uh, how many sheets are there in our workbook for i is equals to one two uh, active workbook uh, dot work uh, active workbook dot worksheets i'm counting the worksheets count property now let's close the for loop with next i then combo box combo box one dot add items and adding the items which are our worksheet names active workbook active workbook dot sheets sheets the sheets we are getting from i i is the index dot name that's it now let's check the output see here we got all the worksheet name student employee and country here we got all that now my next aim is if a user select employee if a user click the option button hide i want to hide this 
employee worksheet if the user select show again i want to display again show this worksheet again on our workbook let's close this application we'll finish the rest of the code now select the option button show double click that one now here the code is if option button one dot uh, value is equals to true true then let's close this and if and if now here the condition is if the option button value to which means it's selected the first option button is show so worksheets worksheets we are getting from combo box one dot value dot visible visible is equals to true now again switch over to our design page now this time select hide double click that one instead of adding the same code copy this one and paste here now this option button 2 which is hide button if it's selected means true is selected i want to visible false that's it now let's check the final output of our application i'm running this application and here we got the final output and notice here when i click the combo box here we're getting all the excel sheet names now i want to hide the student worksheet name hide see here the student worksheet is hiding now if i click show again we got the student work uh, excel sheet i want to hide the country hide see country worksheet is hiding again show if i want to hide country hide uh, student hide as well as the employee also i want to hide see again show show that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to hide and unhide the excel sheets dynamically using a vba code thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment thanks for watching this video tutorial and catch you in my next video tutorial